evening. Tonight, I want to discuss again about Sebastian. It always my main topic at the moment is Sebastian. Right, because I don't understand what is going on. I really don't. Right, you got the mother and the stepfather lying constantly. You got. Seth Rogers, the bio father, out there searching every day. And then you got the stepfather threatening him with some sort of an injunction or lawsuit or something like that. Because he's going out on this, because the bio father's going out on these searches, it's making him look bad. What the hell is going on? Please, someone tell me. It's more than frustrating now. And then yesterday on the live, we was watching JLR again, and we'll be watching his video today. In fact, I'm going to run that video while I'm talking, because I won't put the sound on, I'll keep the sound off. But it can run while we talk. Right. Right. And Yesterday, when I was out on the search, they come across something. JLR was there when I came across it. So everyone stopped what they were doing. They got the the uh, the dogs in. The dog come around, went all the way around this one area, sniffing and looking. You know what I mean? We knew what area they found this item. The dog didn't. The handler, the dog handler didn't. But this dog, after a few minutes or so, went, gave a bark, then it went and lay right on that spot. Right? As soon as the dog did that, the dog handler told everyone to leave the area. So they did. They left the area. All right, they get back up on the car park. And they're wondering what's going to happen. Are the police going to come in? You know what I mean? And all of a sudden, they was told, abruptly told to leave the park. Apparently, it's a federal, uh, federal or government run park or something like that, right? And they were trespassing. Now, I'm sorry, but Cajun, Cajun Navy was there searching. It was their dogs that found it, right? They were even told to leave. Seth Rogers, the father. So one of the things saying that they was trespassing, they shouldn't have been there. Right? Now, I'm sure Cajun Army would have gone and got all the necessary paperwork to sort it out before going there. Right? But, oh no, they had to leave. So they all left. And the only police that turned up were the police. Oh God, my cat. The police. I'm going to kill this cat. The police that were 
uh, parked up by the entranceway, stopping anyone coming in. So it's letting people out, but stopping people coming in. So, okay, the police will come again. He, like, that Nick, whatever his name is, the some of your county uh, deputy and all that, that will come. No. No, they didn't come. They didn't show up. Not some of your police or TBI. Right? Now, I'm sorry, but that dog hit on something yesterday. It may not have been anything to do with Sebastian, but he hit on something. Right? The police should have gone in and checked that spot. Right? There was tape. Apparently, someone said who was on that search said there was tape that looked like it had blood on. Right? And some else was there that looked like there'd been blood on it. But the police didn't turn up. TBI and the police did not turn up. Why? Got these people out here today again searching. Right, searching. For any signs, anything, anything. But the police won't turn up when they, when they find something or they hit on something. Something. Yeah, tell me why. Do the some of your police know something or rubbish tip? Did they find something there? And that's why they reckon whatever that they came across yesterday was irrelevant to the Sebastian Rogers case. Because I don't get this. I really don't get this. And then I heard Cajun, Cajun police, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. Step down, guys. Why? Why don't they want Cajun Navy there searching? What are they hiding? What are they not telling people? You know what I mean? You've got people going out every day now. More people are turning up. And that's thanks to JLR, because he did that interview with the father the other day. And up until then, it's just been the father and these two guys going out every day searching. Right? Because after the police stopped their search, after eight days, then the police scaled back their search. Right? No, there was hardly any searching going on except for Seth, the father, and a few people with him. And they've been everywhere. Right, from one side of Tennessee to the other side of Tennessee. Everywhere. This poor father has got blisters on his feet to the point he's, he's having trouble walking. He's doing his shouldering. Yesterday, sometime yesterday, he done some damage to his shoulder. But he's getting out there every day still looking for his son, Katie and Chris. Right? Why aren't they out there? They don't have to be in the same search party as Seth. They could be in another search party. Right, there's plenty of search parties going on in that area. Right? Um, but that apparently they've been told to stay at home. Okay. Why? We don't know. But that's what they're telling us. But I'll take whatever they tell us now with a pinch of salt. Because apparently Katie put on her Facebook page that uh, she managed to get the help of Cajun Navy. Right? Now, if that was the case, why on earth would someone phone up and put a complaint in about them doing that search in that area on federal land, on federal, federal property or land? 
I go got fist south last. You haven't missed anything. As I said, I'm just running this video as we talk. Right, because there's just so much which is confused, really annoying me. Right? The lies that are coming out of their mouths is unbelievable. And I still can't get over that interview they have done with Smiley the other night. Do nods back now. I really can't. Especially when she sat there on this live, the mother, and said, no, I do not let my husband uh, use a belt on my son. Right? And then literally half an hour later, if that, is talking about why he had uh, DCFS. Right, an open case then because of what happened with Sebastian and how he used the belt on Sebastian. Yet he's lying there. She's sticking up for that. Oh, mother Effa. Why? She's ex navy she knows how to look after herself and from what i understand what i'm hearing on the youtube streets right this woman is tougher than you think and the appearance she's giving out is oh i'm this little i'm just this little mother who don't know what to do my son's missing attitude no she's tougher than that Right, we've heard that. And then you got the stepfather. Hold on, I'll see if I can pull it up. I think I shared on my Twitter account, so I'll see if I can pull it up. Right, come on. Uh, where is it? Oh, my God. Why? Um, yeah. I'm going to share this. I don't know if I can get it any bigger. I don't know if I can zoom. No, it's not going to let me zoom in. But here, right, it says JLR investigates, right, March the 23rd. I can confirm the Proud Books have threatened to take legal action against the Rogers side of the family. Proud Books think Seth Rogers searching for Sebastian Rogers makes them look bad. They're threatening to take legal action because the father is out there looking for his son, which is making them look bad. No, what's making them look bad? Oh no, I'm just gonna get my thing up again. All right. What's making them look bad? It's themselves. It's themselves, no one else. From day one, and you never seen them. You never seen them stand with the Stonia police or TBI or anything, give any press releases out with them, pleading to, for whoever to bring their son home. You never seen none of that. And then after eight days, they did an interview which was the downfall from that moment onwards it was their downfall right because then the police and also scaling back the search and in that interview you can see all these scratches on his arms and people have been asking about those scratches on his arms and he said it was when he was roughhousing with the two little 
Yorkies or whatever they've got, two little dogs they've got. Right? Now, someone said she's got no sort of dogs. Right? And when that, she rough houses with them, they scratch you. They're going to scratch you. They're going to scratch you on one arm because they literally cling to your arm as you're rough housing them. Yeah? They're clinging to your arm. So it's only going to be one arm unless it's doing the two dogs at the same time. It doesn't make sense what is coming out of you. And then you've got. The mother, it seems really right. And I fought for her. I really did feel for her in that interview. But there was just little things I noticed how she wasn't looking, giving him her eye contact or anything. And they never mentioned his name once. Not once in that interview did they mention his name, Sebastian. Right? And I said, when I did my live that night, after, when I re reviewed that interview, I said, you watch, next time they do another interview, they're going to be adding to the story. And how, yeah, they did add to their story. Right? So to me, that sounds... Because if you tell the truth, the story will never change. That's how I look at it. You tell the truth, your story doesn't change. But her story is changing every time they do an interview. The latest one was, like, you remember when she first said the interview, she got up, she went in to wake Sebastian up, he wasn't there. Right? It literally took her, within three minutes, she searched the house and was on the phone to her husband. The step in the last interview, not the last live, the last interview, she had gone from getting up, seeing Sebastian not being there, uh, looking around the house, um, going out, phoning her husband to tell him, going outside, screaming his name, asking neighbours, and then jumping in her car to drive around. That's a hell of a lot to be doing in three minutes. Right? Flipping hell, I wish I could do that much in three minutes. I can just about get off the sofa in three minutes. <laughs> but it just seemed she added so much more. Plus, when they asked him in the first interview, what, what was your Sunday like? What did you do? Oh, well, we got up. And we did our usual things, being out and about and whatever, right? By the time that third, it was, well, we got up and I made breakfast. Fun fact. What is that fun fact that you made breakfast? I make breakfast every morning for my grandkids when they're here. It's not a fun fact. The pain in the bleeding arms because they never eat it when you do it, right? And and then he sits on the phone and he's doing his video calls, his video chats or whatever to family or whatever. And then we had a phone call. She taps. You see her hand tap Chris's leg. And she looks at him. She said, we had a phone call from... And he said something. And then she said, yeah, your niece. So we went and picked your niece up. And we went to some place and he had this big bucket of popcorn and then we come home we dropped all the groceries off like the few snacks that I brought we then went bowling and then we went out for dinner wow that was a lot as well you know what I mean from doing oh just the usual things like we did we just do running about doing errands sort of thing to do doing all the thinking if you're telling the truth you don't need to go into all that detail your story will stay the chain the same you know what i mean i was quite i could be very virgin i was we did some we went about and doing some errands 
we were, you know what I mean? We got back, we had dinner, and we got back about whatever. He was playing in his room. I was quite happy with that. But I knew that she would add more to it if they did another interview. I just knew it. And every interview they had done, on to like a news, a YouTuber on the news channel or something like that, or any other YouTuber, right? They have added to their story. And someone picked up some of it, and I picked up on it as well. Right? They're talking about the doors in the house. Right? Someone said, why did you say he went out the front door? He said, no, every door he could have gone out. I said, it, it just went, we automatically presumed he went out the front door because that was the door he used 99% of the time. And then someone said, is there a chair blocking one of the doors? I said, yes, there is. But, but he can still get out there because there's, there's another door that leads onto this um, like conservatory area, whatever you want to call it, right? But they said it wouldn't have gone out, and the father, stepfather turned and said, but Sebastian wouldn't have gone out that way because we, the word we, would have a door opening. Because it makes a creaking noise or whatever, a very loud creaking noise. Hold on, where's the we in this? You wasn't even there. A mistake, he said that, just automatically said. But when you talk to it, someone who, who looks at the words people use, it's automatic when you say these things. That's what your brain tells you. You know what I mean? Anyone can act. Anyone can put tears on. Anyone can do, oh, I'm so sad. You know what I mean? The, the puffing and the wheezing and the sobbing of the eyes. Anyone can do that. Anyone. But the words... You can't just control because it's not the big words they use, it's the little words like we. If he just said, if he'd have gone out that door, mom, because he referred to her as mom, if he just said, if he'd have gone out that door, mom would have heard the door opening. But he didn't. He didn't. He said, we would have heard the door opening. So this is why I'm so flipping annoyed at the moment because it's like a flipping, I'm, it's, it's like a rabbit hole, you know what I mean? There's all these little runs coming off it and all these little runs coming off it are caused through the stepfather and the mother. The father sticks to his guns. All he has to talk about is Sebastian. He wants Sebastian found. And this father is not going to give up. Even if he has to go back to work on his days off, he will be out there looking for his son. I can guarantee you this. He's not going to give up until his son is found. What he needs to do as well is keep on at the police and TBI because we know what TBI can be like. Look at some of them in Utah Wales. They could have, the police could have arrested those parents with some of, some of them in Utah Wales just for neglect. But they haven't. It's been three years now, coming to three years. Right? They haven't. And it's the same people, Tennessee. Someone was talking, Bullhorn, but he was saying today something about the rivers. 
some how messy their river edges are and how they need to get that cleaned up. I'm thinking, I've been thinking about the rivers, so I'm sorry, I can't even talk about that. I can't speculate, I didn't see. But Burhorn Betty has got her attention now. This has got her attention full on. Because of what that stepfather has said by issuing, what was he? By threatening to take legal action against the Roger side of the family. Why? Because of that, she don't like that. She's not liking that one bit. She's going to get her car, it's like apparently it's in the garage, but she's going to get her car back and she's coming down to Tennessee. She's coming down to Tennessee. And she said, they better find that boy before I get down there because I'm going to be digging into their whole background. The, the mother and the stepfather, she will dig. Now, JLR has been digging. Right? He's got a lot of information on their background. And he's getting a bit of background of a person tells the whole story of the person. Come on, this guy's been married. This is his fifth marriage. How old is he, 40 something? And this is his fifth marriage. That says a lot. That says a lot. And look, um, the two cases he's got open against him is one is in New Mexico, where his last look, wife lives, ex-wife lives, and one was in Tennessee due to Sebastian. That says a lot as well. So, and come on, he's been fighting this court battle now with the child thing, child custody thing with his ex-wife now for what, seven years? Seven years he's been fighting this in court with the ex-wife. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what else that can be said about those two. But when I heard it today, sorry, my internet is going to be in and out for some reason. Don't know why. Again. Must be a lot of people using, right? Or we've got some bad weather coming, maybe. But folks, a guy to be married five to As someone said, someone said something to Gary, those five marriages have got one thing in common. You know what that one thing is? That's, they've all got in common. Chris. They've all got Chris in common. And he said in one interview, out of the four wives, out of his four ex-wives, he can speak to two of them. He could speak to them daily if he wanted. Now, if I was his wife, and I've heard my husband say that, I go, you talk to your ex-wife? Really? Really? Yeah, right. You'd be talking, you won't be talking to your next ex wife because you don't have to get near me but, but as the mother she's at fault because she has not protected her son from that guy she let him use a bow tongue he says it was only once i don't believe that but everywhere they're walking they're out there in the sticks uh, uh, yesterday was horrendous what they Come to walk through yesterday. I think this is where they found an item of clothing. Yes, they found some clothing here. So, what they did, because they couldn't get in touch with someone, they pinned it on the Google, on the maps where it was. So they could leave it there and then go back if need be. 
So anything they was finding, they were just pinging it on Google Maps so they could go back to it. But I was watching this earlier. So, oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Be right back. I'll put the volume on. Okay, so, so you can listen to it. Be. All right. I'll put the volume on this. So you can listen to it. Thank you, Dana. Is that the first thing you all found? They did. Uh, anything else was found? Um, just a little. Yeah, she bought it out. She bought it right on the bank. Maybe just keep it here and put like a marker here, maybe. Put someone drop pin. pin. Yeah, drop pin. And then take it up to the chain of command. Then. This You're you're from here, right? Yeah, I mean, do people just come out here? Like, is this just not like, through, through that way? Okay. That's that's way too much. That's all. Um, and thorns. Got it pinned. Mm -hmm. Right, you drop pinned it. Oh, we know the search for Sebastian Rogers continues. JLR investigates. Oh. Volunteers are out here. Seth Rogers is out here. Sebastian's father. Well, now what river is that to the left here? What is this? Is this part of that goes into the old Hickory Lake? So this will take us around to where we were at yesterday, where there was all that tornado damage. All right. So if you are in the area of Hendersonville, come on out. We need more people than we have. We need more people. We do need more people. I was talking to a young girl. I'd say a young girl, young woman. She may not have been, I don't know. Just before coming on here, and I asked her where she was from. Because she said, I said, yo, I'm just getting ready to go on a live in about half an hour. And she said, oh, what about? And I said, Sebastian Rogers. I said, a 15-year-old 
this the drive that went missing four weeks ago. Oh God. You know, I got the impression she didn't even know about it. So I said, Where are you from? Guess where she's from? Clarksville. Where the father lives. I don't think she knew about this. Well, she did now because I've told her. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know, how many people do not know about this young lad? Step said the other day, someone phoned up with a tip. Um, uh, apparently, they had the sighting of a lad that looked that fitted the basset. So Seth phoned up the police in that county, in that state or whatever. Do you know the And this is an amber alert or endangered alert, whatever it is. I think it went from endangered to amber. Police didn't even know about this case. When he was doing the search the other day, and just um, JLR was with him, right? Let's go through this park and there's looking for all these empty houses and holiday lets, whatever they are. Anyway, they come to this one place and got like a, I don't know where the park keepers are. It. Now, all these people who work in these parks should know about this. The police should know about this like this case. They should know about every case in that, in Tennessee. They should have a picture, uh, facts to them. You know what I mean? Or up. So they can keep an eye on it every day. So many children in Tennessee are going missing and not being found. So, so many. Now, I'm from the UK. And you might think, well, what does it matter to you? It matters a lot. Because at the end of the day, they're still someone's daughter, someone's son. You know what I mean? They need to be found. They need to be found. And then people and their whatever happened to them, right? The people who took them, kidnapped them, whatever. People I've heard mention about um, caves. Are there caves in that area? You know what I mean? Because say he did walk off on his own, right? Say his mum put him outside just to calm him down. Because apparently that's what they've been told to do. If they're, if they're having a meltdown, put them outside where they're going to calm down. And when they calm down, knock on the door and let them back in. Now, did he think, because he got no reply from there knocking on the door, he's probably thought, well, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going off, I'm going to my dad's. Have you ever thought, or oh, I'm going off here, I'm not staying around here no more? Could you have gone into a cave for the night time? Or in the daytime, just to get some sleep? The possibilities are endless. But I feel so bad for these people. Because they are out there, boots on the ground, right? Looking for anything, a piece of clothing, uh, uh, the turf, at some turf or land, at look, out of place where it's been dug up, maybe, right? They're out there looking. And where are the parents? Apart from Seth, who's out there with them, with a bad shoulder. My outside, right? 
Now, if someone said it's due back at work tomorrow, don't you fact it's true? You know what I mean? But possibly, because it's been like four weeks now, so it might be, look, you need to come back to work. But if it does, if he does have to go back to work, then I can guarantee you, whatever time he has, when he's not working, he's got to be out there looking. He's going to be out there putting, going to be out there looking. So if Seth isn't there, he needs his people to be there. If not every day, but every other day maybe. Right? They need a good, strong group of people looking. Constantly, over the week, have so many people looking. You know what I mean? During the week. If not everyone looking, but 10, 15 people a day looking. And then when he's got the time, he will come and join them. But what I heard yesterday, I just, I am just dumbfounded by, I really am. I think someone was saying, someone phoned up yesterday and told them that there's on federal land. And because that park has been closed due to the trees being blown down through the, uh, some winds they had, some bad weather they had last year. Uh, tornado, whatever it was that hit them. Right. They shouldn't have been there. Now, like I said, I'm sure Cajun Army, Cajun, or whatever they, however you pronounce it, would have got permission to do all that. Would have got permission to go there. But for them to be kicked out of there as well, Seth was kicked out of it. Why? What are, the, what are the police trying to keep hidden from everyone? Because as far as we know, the police didn't even go there yesterday. They didn't go to the spot which the dog sit on. Neither did TBR. Apparently, it's not necessary for their case. I can just tell that. Or have you found the body already? You know what I mean? Have they found something already in that tip where they went to the landfill? Sorry, where they went to the landfill. Did they find something that day? Because a dog, one of the dogs, did hit on something. And they're due to go back the next day, but they didn't. So did they find something that day? And not saying something. Now, if they have found something, I think they need to let people know. And I think they need to let them know very quickly because it's not fair on these people out there looking. It really isn't. Now, they've asked the Caucasian Navy to hold off for seven days. Why seven days? That doesn't make sense to me either. Why seven days? It's just, this case is just oh, infuriating. But when I heard that he put this thing in, did you hear about this, MG? About the Proud Folks have threatened to take legal action against the Rogers side of the family. Proud Folks think Seth Rogers searching for Sebastian Rogers, his son, makes them look bad. They've even, Proud Folks demanded the Rogers family take down their GoFundMe that was set up for Seth Rogers. Seth has taken off work to look for his son and has been hanging out lawyers now people was uh, going on about that picture oh. where apparently they'd gone out for something to eat right okay fine everyone's got to eat a nice meal right 
And but did they go when they went out? You know, if I was going out for something to eat and my son was missing, I would have a box in the back of my car full of flyers. Full of them. And I'd hand it into the restaurant, one to the restaurant, and one to every flipping table. Because, as I said, there's still so many people who don't know about this case. They don't want people to know about this case. I was scared that, oh, hold on, we did see something, you know what I mean, suspicious on this case. You know, sort of thing. Or they worried that someone in that restaurant might have seen something. By like giving them a flyer, might jog their memory. But what I found is that and is some of the police and TBR, why aren't they going to these spots where they're being found, where dogs are hitting? You know what I mean? Did I not like the fact that Cajun police, um, uh, police, Cajun Navy came in? Because Cajun Navy would have to get their permission anyway before coming in. So, and then to be told to, oh, to go to the third side, start a search, and then when the dogs hit on something, kick them off the land. No, that don't smell right to me. Just as pass my smell test. Something is a bit icky. Not right. You don't know what anyone else thinks? Leave me a comment, let me know. And the, and the mother, I'm not helping themselves. You know what I mean? Making them look bad. The only people making them look bad is themselves. By not getting off their backside the first day, I don't care what the police said to me. If my son or daughter ever went missing, even now, and my son is what? 33, 34? 34? And my daughter's 32? Right? Even now, if either of them went missing and the police said, we need you to stay at home, I'd go, over my fucking dead body am I staying at home? Over my dead body would I stay at home? I'd be out there with my water, my rucksack and my water or whatever, my protein bars in my bag, and I'd be out there looking from dawn to dusk and then even later if I could because no way what I don't care what the police said to me you need to stop at home no have you noticed as well in a lot of cases where the parents have been told are saying that they've been told to stay at home look look at that one with the two lads what were they where the mother and the step had they dropped the two lads? I think they had. Our or Owen, Owen, or something like that. And um, they said, Oh, well, the police told us to stay in our home. Two years later, they get arrested for their murder. Right? Who else? Who else didn't go on a search for their child? Oh, yes. Diamond Candice Wells. They never went looking for their children, but they still, I think I'm just disgusting with Tennessee, FBI, TBI, because they could, if they can't, then the police could have arrested them for child neglect. We know when those boys, we took off them after someone went missing, right? There was neglect in that with those lads, neglect. How do I know that? Because someone done a live, and this person, 
right, had been talking to one of the health workers or something involved in the case, and they told her everything about those what they were suffering from, right? I think one was scabies, some else. Uh, but there's loads of little things, loads of medical conditions that was wrong with them. And they'd never been given treatment for it. Right? They was underfed. They wasn't cleaned. You know, the father said, but they had showers. Yeah, right. No, they didn't. All right, so they could have had them on neglect. They still can, but they haven't. For some reason or another, they haven't. And I don't want this case, well, I don't think Seth will let this case go that far. He won't let it drop. He really won't. Because he'll be on their backs every week. What's happening with my son? Why aren't you out searching? Why are you doing press charges for this? The parents are saying this and that. They're lying. Why haven't you pressed charges? Because every time, the parents are going to slip up. Well, I say the parents. I say the mother. I truth seeker. Right? I say the mother is going to slip up. Someone said the other day they thought maybe Chris would be the one to slip up first. But he's too arrogant. He's too... No, he's not going to slip up. She's going to be the one that slips up, if anything. I think. That's just my opinion. Because you see it in her fact. When she talks, you know what I mean? You can see. And the way she looks at him. Like that time when she looked at him to find her. Just to get reassurance that it was his niece that phoned up. You know what I mean? So, you want to go back over those videos. You really do. I'm going to sit down one day. Right, I'm going to put my headphones on. For one night, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to do a live and just go through all those lives they've done. Right, I've wrote down everything I know. But I want to get another book, so it's just for this case. Which I'm going to get tomorrow. I'm going to buy a new book tomorrow. And each new case, I'll get a new book. So I'll have a different book for every case. And I'm going to jot down every lie, every red flag. You know what I mean? Because there was too many red flags, too many lies. And it's all coming out of their mouths. I'm sorry, I, I bet Seth wishes now. That he hadn't held off Sebastian from having Sebastian. I I said I think it's because the mother said no. Let him stay. We'll keep him. We'll keep him here just to see if he'll settle down with his behaviour and all that lot. Because don't forget if if Sebastian when Sebastian if he's found alive, which I'm praying to God he is. I'm praying to God someone's took him in. You know what I mean? I'm praying to God if someone has gotten somewhere. Right? And if by any chance he does come back alive, he will go to his father. Not straight away, DCFS will keep him for a while and then they'll be given to his father. Because, don't forget, when they were planning to give Sebastian for Sebastian to move in with his father at the end of this when the summer break came, that would mean his benefits that he gets for being being autistic, the father would be able to claim that, right? And they, he, the mother would have to pay the father child support. So that's at the moment she's getting that child support. She's getting that disability money, right? That's a lot of money to be out of each month.
Um, I know up here in the UK it can be about, depending on how bad, uh, at the moment my, I get for my disability, I get 300 and something a month. But if I was on the higher end of the disability, I could get a lot more. I could be getting like a thousand pounds a month. And I know for children, it starts off around about the same, about two to three hundred a month, upwards. So you think of that, then you think of the child support money you get off the government, which is over a hundred pounds a month. Right? And if the whoever's looking after the child then, the father's got the child and the mother's got the child, they have to pay that whoever child support money. So it all adds up and what they but by doing but if by any chance something they did do something. Bear in mind, I'm not saying they did. I'm just saying it looks a bit icky, right? Off, the smell wrong. If they had, they're going to lose all that money anyway. So why didn't they just say to the father, look, we can't deal with this no more, you take him now. So you wait until the end of the summer for when the summer breaks. Take him now, please. You know what I mean? Because I can't see the reasoning behind it hurting this child to stop him from going to his father's. Because they're going to lose the money either way. They're going to lose that money. The only thing is they wouldn't have to pay the money to set to set like so so money right so that's the only thing that be saving on is that but they lose all the rest of the money they lose the benefit they lose the child support money off the father but i also understand that sebastian had something else where he had like fluid on one part of his brain or something like that and if he hit his head in that on that part of the brain it could kill him i'm not sure what it was or how severe that is i don't know why that's playing up i don't know if it's a video if it's his video or me. Okay. But please, what does that you all think? Do did you all see that live from Jaya Ally yesterday where the dog sit on? Well, a dog hit on it. Spot on. Spot on that dog was. We all knew where it was. Right? Because JLR had this camera on that spot. And that dog was going around that area, back and forth, back to that spot again, going away again, coming back to it, going. Then all of a sudden he just started, he gave a bar, then went and lay down on it. Response of the dog, how he responds. So when that handler seen that, heard and seen that dog do that, he knew there was something there. So why did they kick everyone out of the park area altogether? You know what I mean? They were all up in the car park eventually. So there wasn't on the scene. They was all up in the car park away from me. But then they get kicked off. And apparently Chris was watching it all on YouTube, on Facebook yesterday. 
walked in the search, go on on Facebook. So someone must have been streaming it onto Facebook and we was watching it. And people are saying they believe it was him who made the phone call about them being there. Don't know how true that is. Don't know how much pulling power he has. I really don't. But I'm sure occasionally maybe we'll give that permission to go there. You know what I mean? But for them then to be told not to hold back for seven days. Why seven days? Why are the police telling the Navy, occasionally Navy, to stand back for seven days, hold off for seven days? Are they hoping the volunteers will dwindle off again? Like they did before. And then, because JR arrived out the other day, ever since then, you've had people coming down. Okay, it was coming up to the weekend, so people was going out for the weekend. Going down there for the weekend, you know what I mean? And um, where a lot of people were. But there's people on this. Oh, God, what's going on with my internet? Right, there's people on this. Right, all this. Hang on, I'm going to up a bit. Now, this is. I'm just have I missed that bit? Hang on. We'll leave it out there. Right? They've just come to the embankment here. Look how steep that embankment is. They've got to get up now. They've got to get up that embankment to the train track. And they've got to get up there. what they say let's see what they say wow you know, we've got red flags flying all over the place look at all these red flags look see what i mean we've got red flags flying all over the place see i think we know what's up folks so <laughs> later on review this chat because i'm just seeing nothing but red flags we're gonna up here. Whoa, that's a heavy thorn. Look at that. I'm going to go up the top of this railroad here and look down. Bye. All right, so this is along the railroad tracks now, folks. Jeff Barr investigates out here. Search for T-Roll Sebastian. Struggling. There's two guys struggling, and one guy, one guy helps the other, but he doesn't help the second one. And that second one could get done with a bit of help, I think. Careful. <laughs> My internet plays all okay. Oh, God, my head this is what volunteers are doing. Problem with the not out here. Are they all right? Oh. Here, you need help? You good? Here, grab my hand. You want to grab my hand? Oh, you got it. Good. You're welcome. Got it. 
Oh, 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 oh. Be careful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on. Who has a walking stick? Right here. You got it? Got it. Oh. You're welcome. All right, see, that's the steep terrain. See what I mean? I have some sort of hawk up there, some bird. Someone says, look at the dog, the bull tooth. Sure, for Sebastian. I'm going to go down here a minute and just show you down here. Is there more people down in the cul de sac, you know? There are people coming later. Okay, so there are people still coming. I'm going down here to show you. Down here, what's going on? I think this is called Center Point Road. Magnolia left the. Uh, if Magnolia, if you can leave the name of the business in the cul de sac, so if anyone wants to come and help, they can help. I still see people. Yeah, there's still searchers out in the trees, folks. They're out there. There's still volunteers out in these trees. There's groups all over the place. This was just one I've been tagging along with. I would say there's a few dozen here by now. Yeah, I see a couple of people there right now. Where did this go? Yeah, we want to get the word out. Oh. Oh God, what am I doing? Oh God. Oh God, I'm getting my little mouse up there. This freaking mouse. Ah. <sighs> now you've got to talk to that now, haven't you? Those red flags, folks. Oh, God, I've stopped everyone. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. But honest to God, my heart is going out to every one of those volunteers. Because tomorrow they, they are going to hurt in places of their body they never thought they could hurt. You know what I mean? But it's just... But this goes, this is for like three hours long this is, but so we're definitely not going to be watching it all. But... What does everyone think? Anyone in chat want to say anything? Give me your views. You know what I mean? Because I'm never very sad. I thought. Oh my god, I've got 97 watching on Twitter. Way to go. Thank you for joining us on Twitter. Thank you. Please give a little heart. Click that little heart. Jason Love. Thank you all. Right? But I just don't understand it. See, I, what, what the hell is going on? Please, someone tell me why I don't, please. Look, because as he said, right, he said, if the police know something, I think it's only right they say something very soon. 
and put an end to this. You know what I mean? The police have got to act on this very soon because this is not fair on these people. If the police know something, they've got to do something very soon. I know people say, I've said it. Let the police do the job. Let them get all the T's and crossed in their eyes dotted. You know what I mean? Let get, make sure they've got all the evidence in place. But this is ridiculous. This is hot weather. And they've got searches out there. You know what I mean? And they're out there all day. They're not just there for an hour. They're out there from the beginning to the end. Until they can't walk no more. So, it's just so sad. Because I'm sorry, if you're looking for anything, or items of clothes, that's what I mean. That doesn't look good. That does not look good. Right? Because, and, the family want these videos shared. The family wants these videos like this of people out in the searches shared to get the word out there. So if I've acknowledged JLR in my description and I've got my disclaimer there as well. But I'm sure JLR is not going to strike me for me using these videos. Everyone is using these videos because he's the only one that I know of. There are other YouTubers there with other searches, with other search groups, right? And I'm sure Bullo and Betty will be there next week. She's got the, she's like a dog with a bone now. She's got that bone between her teeth and she's not letting go because of that one statement, that one remark made. This remark. Because of this, I can confirm the proud books have threatened to take legal action against the righteous side of the family. Now, for him to say he can confirm, he's obviously spoke to someone, right? And Sarah, that's the sister, she said, I would like to thank everyone for all of your support through this. I would also like to thank people who have shared the good for me. Yep. I shared it. I shared. I shared it on my personal page, but did not share it on any of the of the pages. As I was told by Christopher, if I didn't take it down, I would be hearing from his attorney. Now this is the stepfather, Christopher. Yesterday, while searching the area of Rockford Recreation U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, a K9 hit on something and sat down. Oh, yeah, he hit on something. All volunteers were abruptly told to leave. Apparently, someone reported this to an illegal list as an illegal search on federal property. I wonder who. Right? The search for Sebastian continues. Yes, it does. Um, what else was put up yesterday? It was here, just here. He's watching that spot. Everyone was watching that spot like a hawk yesterday. Right? See if I could pull it up. But it is just around here. And all the volunteers were stood right back. They brought the dog in around that way. So the volunteers were over like here and they brought the dog in that way round and coming that way through here. And this dog went all around this area, kept going over there, kept going over there, whatever, but he kept going back to this area. Then eventually he barked, gave one bark and when it sat there. Right. I don't know if I can get a picture of it. See, that was just the same dog, right, sniffing around the area.
So that was me then. <laughs> That's me going live on live. I'm watching myself go live. <laughs> but it, it just, I can't get my head around this. Why is he threatening them? You know what I mean? That GoFundMe mate was to help Seth with his bill to, so he could concentrate on getting out there looking for his son and not worry about anything else. Right? Just worry about finding his son. And they threaten her. You know what I mean? It's disgusting. Right? This was, um, uh, I reposted this. Yes, it says, yes, can we talk about the fact that barely any volunteers showed up to help him? So many went out searching for royal Australia. Which is true. Right? When the police scaled back the search, do you remember when they said they didn't want volunteers out there searching because they had like 150 people, 150, 200 people, something like that, people who knew what they was doing out there searching, yeah? But they said, all we ask is sit still and, when, and rest up because when the time comes, we will call on you, right? Well, after eight days, they called that search off and then start to investigate. Well, it's been three weeks now of investigating, so what the hell are they up to? Right? And it says, Sebastian Rogers' father has been off work and relentlessly searching for his son, Sebastian. Only two volunteers are helping. This was before JLR put this video out. Right? Before, it was just simply, this is a co-worker of the father's. And I don't know how he knows him, but they're friends. And it was just simply, every day, going out, looking for this lad. Then after that live, whoa, did they turn up. He's at a park far away from Sebastian's home. There is no special reason he's at that park other than wanting to look anywhere his son could be. Hoping that the volunteers from Royally Stain Search Park may shift to find, help find Sebastian. Thanks to JLR investigators who was there searching and reporting, it's so upsetting that Sebastian Father had so little support in this effort. It, it was. Right? And then it says occasionally maybe it's shifting their support to, to find Sebastian. I was over the moon when I heard that. But then all of a sudden yesterday the Cajun Navy was told to stand off for seven days. What? That does not make sense to me. It says, yeah. Mrs. Proud, Mrs. Proudfoot said she's organising with the Cajun Navy. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. And F, oh, I hope FQ search come in. But they'll only come in if the police will allow them to come in. They would be brilliant in the water, in them rivers. Right. As I said, if everyone, yeah, I'm the same. If everyone who's on here, right, be it on Twitter or YouTube, use your platform to get the information out there. Right. Repost any of my stuff off my page. Repost any of the pictures and put your own comments to it. Whatever. Just get his picture out there, get his name out there. 
The only way I can help, because I'm in the UK, is by doing what I do. And I'll tell you, I've had some sleepless nights over this. I wouldn't even like to think how the father has been sleeping. Right. Sam. Hmm. One woman put, I agree. The whole world wanted to find a grown man who was inebriated but had forgotten about an innocent child. Yeah, he was a grown man. He was inebriated. But I think what doing it for him was not the, the alcohol. Because there's a clip about going around where a police officer saw Riley Strain walking along the path. Now, if he's that inebriated and where he couldn't stand up, I'm sure the police, would, police officer would have done something. But he's walking along okay. But then... You see him in another video where he's running and he falls and bang, hits his head. And you could see him struggling. After that, he's really struggling. It's like he didn't know where he was going, which way he was going, anything. He was struggling after that fall. Two major search teams. I'm not looking at the moment because I've been extra search won't come in unless the police allow them to come in. You know what I mean? Extra search will not come in. They have to be invited in or something like that because they're talking to them once. It was, um, I was talking to them about some of some of Wales, and they said, someone said, would you go back there? And they said, yes, but we have to be invited back. We have to, the police have to ask us, or we have to get, we have to ask the police if we can come in. And it's up to the police whether we're allowed to come in and do the search. So, and um, if some young can't, uh, police don't allow them, they won't be there. And if some, and we, I mean, I'll tell you now, if we find out some of the county will not let them come, there'll be uproar. So the best thing for some of the county could do is say, yes, please come along. Use your boats, get in these big lakes, these rivers that we've got. Please. You know what I mean? Because if they say, no, we don't need your help, it's all right. And people, and Believe me, Exusurf, the, the leader, the organiser, he tells us everything. He tells these YouTubers, certain YouTubers, everything. Right? So, we're going to need one email from one of the YouTubers, like, JLR. And I will tell him, we have requested to come and help, but our request has been turned down. So we'll see what happens there because, as I said, they have to get requested. They have to request their help or they have to get permission off the police there to come in. Because that's why they won't go back and do some uh, summer wows because the police won't let them come back. The police have not invited them back. Then you think that's a bit sus as well. Right? So, um, so I just had to take. I have. I've got one of these watches where you can do everything on it. Where you can make a phone call on it. You can read your messages. Well, it's not an Apple one. It's not one of them expensive ones. And I had one before, and I put it in the washing machine by mistake. <laughs> I didn't realise it was in one of my pockets of some I was washing. So I had to buy a new one. So I brought the same one again. And for some reason, this, where the 
book release where you do it up, it brings the rash out on my wrist. And my daughter knows got virtually the same sort of watch as me, and she's having the same problem. I said, I've never had that problem with my first watch. But I'm having it with this. So now yeah, what I've done, I went out and I ordered and brought some of these, you know, them sweatbands for your wrist that you wear on your wrist. Right, when you're jogging or you're playing tennis or you're doing something sporty. Right, which is not me. I've got a pack of four. I'm going to give her one. And I wear that on my wrist and then put my watch over that so it doesn't irritate my wrist. So, anyway, so this is my. Uh, I think this is where they're regrouping again. See what's where they're going next. Let's look at this. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, everyone, for the support. They're, they're, they're out there in the fields. There's people out there looking. There's two, two guys down there. One going just through these, you know, Sebastian couldn't put in where, you know, anywhere between here and uh, this, right? This is about to drive for so, uh, for the Proudfoot's home, where Sebastian was reported missing. Sebastian was reported missing by the mom. A little after 6 a.m. on February 26th. So we're, we're, we're at that four weeks. We're basically at that four weeks now. And, you know, I didn't hear much buzz about this until a week after the fact. Until a week later, then the family, the we're talking about Proudfoot, Katie, and Christopher, speaks to the media days later. Um, I'm told that they have not searched at all. Frogs out. I mean, there's a there's people way over there. I don't know if you can see it. There's one over there searching. I've started looking at this case. He went missing on TV. I was just coming across it by absolute on the Tuesday, I believe. And on the Wednesday, the frog. and on the Wednesday I went out, I went live. And I went live does anyone know when Sebastian was last seen um, besides his mom? Like who who was who last seen Sebastian besides his mom? And that's a great question. Was it at the was it at the bowling alley?
because the United was it at, uh, the Whoopi site. where they claim they went out to eat. BJ, neighborhood, surveillance, anything. What was the actual last sighting of Sebastian? Does anyone know? And who can validate who who's seen besides the mother? Sad mother who's not here searching. Besides the mother or stepfather. Yeah, that guy come up with some. Seems like the stepfather has been doing a lot of bidding for Katie, kind of over for taking conversations and kind of speaking on behalf of her. Think yeah, about that, folks. Right last that person, person. Think about that. Last person to see. And she's not even out here searching, folks. Look. See? Seth, Seth hugging. Where is she? Like, where is she? Where is Kate? Where is Kate? Where's Kate? Where's Katie Prof? Where are they? Where are they? Where are the prophets? Where are the folks? Where is Christopher and Katie Proudfoot? Oh my God, I've just put my headphones on. Bye. You pick so much more. You can hear the wind. Party. Where are the proud foots? No, I'm not giving up all that is people. They are determined to search every inch. Nice view. But what does everyone think? Please leave me your comments. I will check them later. I will check them. So leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thank you all for being here on Twitter. You're probably bored of this case. If you're not, let me know. So, it's just, I just can't understand why. I keep going back. I know I do. I know I keep going back. It's like when I think about those interviews and he says the word we when I'm about the doors. We would have heard the doors, the door opening. Right. And some else I heard, apparently uh, the stepfather, right, would phone Katie and talk to her while driving back to work, while driving down to work. Why? 
Now that would make sense at two and a half hours. You know what I mean? Okay, it's like two and a half hours to get down there. But perhaps he left and then an hour later he phoned her or she phoned him and she he had you on low, low speaker driving and talking to her at the same time. So that would make sense, but he said he was already down there. And what I can't understand is, surely if you've been down at work all week, Monday to Friday, yeah, especially on the Friday they don't work late, and I know in the UK they finish about 3 o'clock in the UK, right, you see them all heading to the pubs. But would you not want to get back home to your wife if you was a man and you're working away from home? You've not been seeing your wife for a whole week, right? Would you not want to sleep in your own comfy bed? That it was wasn't coming home on the weekends. Oh, where to go? Thinking it. Right. So that bothers me. The fact that he said he did not seen Sebastian since the beginning of February. But when Seb did say. When he had Sebastian on the weekends, right? Katie would go down to Memphis to Chris. Why can Chris come home on Friday night? He could be home by what? Oh, if we finish at four, five, five, six, 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 six. It could be home by eight o'clock, the latest, on a Friday night. Sleep in your own bed for a night, Saturday night. Maybe go back late Sunday night, Sunday evening, and drive down. You know what I mean? Or even, you know, yeah, I, I, if it was me, I'd drive down on the Sunday evening. Sometimes. About, I'd say I'd leave about five-ish, five-six. So I'd get down there for about five-six, six, seven, seven. By about 8 30, 9 30, the latest. Ready just to chill out and get into bed, ready for the next day, to be ready for work. But even two nights in your own bed, that'd be better than nothing. So that tells me there was problems. And I'm wondering if those problems come from the um, DCFS, right, and he's just, he's just making out that it wasn't that bad, in fact the DCFS worker told him off for doing what he did, I can't believe a DCFS would say, put the fear of God into a child, like he's making out the geek. I think he was sleeping down, he was staying down there because he wasn't allowed in the house with Sebastian. Maybe. Because with Don Wells and Summer, right? Don Wells was not supposed to be staying at their house. Right? They had DCFS on them and they said Don Wells was not supposed to be there. Right, now John Wells was known to take um, like a microwave and a kettle or something like that. And in these houses where he's doing the, like, the, um, the boardings or whatever they call it, they're doing these housings. He'd sleep in these houses where he's working. And he'd have these little microwaves or whatever to cook himself a meal. So... And that's why he wasn't at the house either, because he wasn't supposed to be there. So I'm wondering, was that the same thing with Chris? He wasn't supposed to be at the house. 
and that's why he was going down there even on the weekends. Even on the weekends when Sebastian wasn't at home. Because he still could have come home on those weekends. He could have come up home. Right? Could have come up home. Sebastian wasn't there because his dad would pick him up after school. And then the dad would bring him back Sunday evening or whenever. So, say the dad brought him back for, say, I don't know, 7 o'clock in the evening or whatever. Chris could have left by them to go back to Memphis. So, there's nothing stopping him coming home those weekends when Sebastian was at his dad. Oh, I see we still got 6,400 people in here. Thanks for not going away. All right, so we're still out here. He's a out here. You. And if you want to come out, come out. Come out. Show support for the Rogers family. Rogers side of the family. Show support for the volunteers. That's the volunteers Bob's car, Dan. Sebastian's Army. Sebastian's Army. And someone out there knows something, folks. I mean, someone I mean. out there knows something. Yeah, Chris knows. Now, as of right now, more vehicles have arrived, so people are here. There's there's at least, I know there's more than a few dozen, maybe like 30 or 40 people at this point, but they're here. Okay. Jamie, will there be other Some searches uh, in other locations okay. just this one today? But his boots on the ground, he's out there with these other volunteers, you know what I mean? Gotcha. And when he goes down, he does these lives like this. And like, a I'm lot of people are asking, um, Cajun looking, Navy, are they here today? Are they planning to come? I'm looking at the areas around where they're walking. I'm looking okay. on the ground. Interesting. Right? And on the bushes, is there any piece of material, any cloth anywhere? Black marker. Black marker. All right, so I just talked with the coordinators up there. So they're telling everyone up there if they find anything, mark it, take pictures of it, drop pin, drop pin everything, but drop pin on the Googles, and then they shared how to do this. Some people are not tech technically savvy. I actually was not technically savvy up to a point of knowing how to drop pin a certain thing uh drop okay. pin, mark it take pictures uh and, and and look for any signs of any type of uh you know the ground anything on the ground that's soil anything of recent diggings or anything like that or any clothes and anything, anything suspicious or unusual if they start moving again then we will move with them but it's just kind of here at a staging ground. Matter of fact, I might go get my tripod and kind of just put it up as a staging ground. And then we'll just wait and see. On the stage. He's right back here that I have to go back. So I don't, I don't see anything happening. Um, but I'm told that yeah. more people are coming. We've already at the beginning of this segment go out in the woods. But the, the end of the day, we're bringing awareness to Sebastian. And we're keeping the public and everyone, the world, people around the world, to know that people out there care for Sebastian. People out there want to find Sebastian. People out there are not going to give up until Sebastian is found. I was got smacked that girl in Clarksville. Didn't know about this. And that's where Steph lives, Clarksville. Right? Until Sebastian is found. No foot burger. I saw a lot of red flags when we talked about the proud foots. Where are the proud foots? Does anyone know where the proud foots are? Oh, we got proud foots. I'm sure are proud. aware of this search. They were definitely aware. I know that uh, my sources have told me Christopher Proudfoot uh, was 100% aware. He knew about these searches uh, yesterday and was asked the question Does he plan to come out to help with the search? And was crickets. There was crickets. Nothing. Nothing. No one has seen Proudfoot 
or Katie Proudfoot. They're not coming out. They're not searching. Why? 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 Christopher Proudfoot and Katie Proudfoot should be leading the charge. They should be handing out flyers. They should be coordinating searches. They should be all over the groups, pleading and begging. They choose not to. Instead, they're seen eating barbecue. Searchers out here, spending all their time, resources, day. Anybody could be doing anything on a Sunday, this weekend. These, these people, volunteers have families, but they choose to be out here to try to find answers. Proudfoots are not doing that. Why? 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 Vigils set up for Sebastian. Multiple of them. Big three that I know of haven't attended one. Yeah. Do they plan to hold any? Yep. Well, I'll tell you something about one of the vigil. Right? One of the vigils they had, I think it was the first one they ever had, right? They was going to have it, right? This is it. On the road outside their house, right? But, oh, no, they didn't want that. They didn't want all these people outside their house. The neighbours didn't want that. I'm sure for what it was for what an hour or so, the neighbours wouldn't have minded. But, oh, no, they didn't want it outside their house. It was a security hazard. Right? I think, so them guys moved to, I believe, to school. But for, for Christ's sake, this is your son. Would I care what my neighbours thought? No. If my son was missing, I'd be having a visual outside my house. That's where he lives. That's where he'll come home to. You know what I mean? So, that was one of the what let's say about one of them because they didn't want it outside their house they wanted it moved and what chris wants chris gets it's so fucking arrogant and so annoying it's i'm grinding my teeth here right i'm biting my tongue and grinding my teeth because I want to say so much, but I can't. I really flipping can't. With this man and this woman, don't start pulling their weight soon. Or the police don't step up soon and do something. I'm going to lose it. I will lose it big time with them. Because it, you've got more people on YouTube. You think of all the people on YouTube following and YouTubers and all that lot. You lot who follow, who come and watch all my videos and follow me, right? You all take your time out to be here, to be here watching this with me. And I'm thankful for that. You know what I mean? I really am. But, and you've got all these other YouTubers with hundreds, thousands of followers who log in. As soon as they go live. Now, you've got more people who care about this lad than what the mother and the stepfather do. You know what I mean? I would have been at every vigil, every flipping search, every fucking day. I don't care if I was hungry. I'd have my protein bars or something and rucksack on my back. You know what I mean? I'd have some of to fight on, eat as I'm going around. But they can't even do that. They cannot leave their house and join up with a search. They know where these searches are and they can't do it. Not that they can't, they won't do it. And it's annoying the feck out of me. I thought some of Wow's family, mum and dad, were bad. You know what I mean? 
But at least I, they stuck to their story and still stick to their story that their daughter was uh, kidnapped, abducted. They've never wavered from that, even though they're lying. And the police know they're lying. TBI know they're lying. You know what I mean? They've never wavered off that. These, these two, oh, he hasn't been abducted this time. This child just got, just got up and walked out the house. Perfectly good house. Safe house. Right? Which any autistic child would not do. They do not, they like, they like this, the safe place. And they class the home as a safe place. They like routine. They like order. Right? But, Oh no, this guy just gets up and walks out in the middle of the night with no shoes on, no coat on, no money that he had in his bedroom. He could have took that. Right? No phone. Just walked out of the house, never to be seen again. Yeah, well, we really believe that, love. And then every time they've done an interview, like, okay, people say, yeah. Go to online, get, have interviews with the newscast people. They have YouTube channels, right? Go to the big channels. The big, big channels like Nancy Grace, right? She's got a hell of a following, right? Go to Vinnie Poulton, is he? Crime, I don't know, Crime TV or whatever. He's got a big following. Right? Oh well, no, they go to these smaller channels and sit there knowing they can, uh, well, believing they can fob us off with their flipping lies and their BS that comes out of their mouths. Right? And I can tell you now, the police are watching, the TBI are watching. For every live they do to see where they are messing up. Now we've spotted mess ups, we've spotted red flags, so we've spotted them. I'm sure the police have. They are watching them. But what I don't understand is why well, at the top of their road, right, there used to be a police camera. Right? There was a police camera and it was pointing. Well, it, it's situated so we've got the top of the road in and all of the rest of the road. Right down to their house. Because once you go past their house, you go into a bend. You start going into a bend. Well, the police can see that past the bend, obviously. But that camera got took down about a week ago or so. A week or so ago, this camera got took down. And a YouTuber seeing it there. Right, then they did their drive around. I can't, I can't remember who it was now. Swimming attic or something like that. They seen it when they drove around. When they went back the next day, it had gone. And they met up with Seth, who was on the construction site. Right? And they asked him about that camera. And then mentioned to him how it had been took down. He said, and he even said something to the words of, he doesn't understand why they took that camera down either. It's like the police and the TBI have just pulled well away from this case. Why? Why? Did they find something at that landfill? We know, we heard a dog hit on something. Did they? find something are they building a case up with that evidence and we got to admit if they found something i think the reporters would have seen it because if it was anything to do with a, anything to do with a body then you've got our uh coroner there or pathologist there whatever so an ambulance would have been brought in right but did they find items of clothing or Something else of Sebastian's, you know what I mean? Anything. 
But you know what fascinates me as well? Just thinking about I'm sitting here looking at my watch. I wonder if he had a watch. And if so, did he wear it? And if not, where was he? That's a question I'd like to know. Did he own a wrist watch? It's 15 years right. Okay, a lot of people say, oh, I don't have watches now because they look at the mobile phone. Well, I don't. I use my watch. Because I have my phone on me. But then if someone phones me, I'll just hit the little red button on my phone. I'll talk to them through my phone. Right? And I love that. Because I haven't got to get my phone out. Okay, I've got me, 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 me hand and arm uh, literally facing up towards my face as I'm talking into the phone. People must look at me thinking, what the hell is she doing? Because I'm walking around somewhere talking to someone on the phone, which on my watch. But I really want one of them Apple watches where I can have my bank card details put on it. And then all I've got to do is scan it off my phone. I'd love that. I'd be in heaven with one of them fat watches. Right, so I'm wondering, did he own a, what, a wrist watch? I've not heard anything said about a wrist watch. Did he own one? 15 years of age, he might have done. It would help him with the time. Instead of constantly looking at your phone, you use, like, I don't believe in young kids. If they've got a watch, I like them to have the, the 12 hour clock watch. Yeah? So they have to learn 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., all the way around up to 12, 11 p.m. and 11.59, 12 a.m., 12 p.m. Once they know that time, then buy them a digital watch. But some of these watches, you can have set, a face set on it, where it is a 12 hour face watch on it. I haven't, but you can set it, so it's got a 12 hour face watch on it. So even then they could have a 12 hour face watch put on it for you, to help them learn the time properly. And if you just know the time, then okay, fine, keep it as a digital. But I wonder if he ever had a watch. Has anyone ever heard him, anyone say anything about a watch? If you have, please put a comment somewhere in Twitter, X, in YouTube. Let me know. Anyone, if you're watching this on replay, if anyone knows of anything about a watch maybe that Sebastian may have owned, let us know. Because we've not heard anything if he owned a watch. We know he had a phone, but he didn't take the phone with him. Did he have a watch? That's one of my questions again. I'm piling these flipping questions up. But you watch, they won't do no more lives. They won't do no go on anyone else's lives. I'll be surprised if they do. I will be unless they go on Nancy Grace. But Nancy Grace isn't going to have him on there. It's she won't stand for his BS. And he knows that. And it's like someone said, why did they only want to speak to the bio father and the mother? Well, I, they're the mother and the father of the boy who's gone missing, right? B, she was the last one to see Sebastian. And C, the father has been out there looking every day for their son. I'm just about to kill my cat. It's messing with my cupboard. Oh, God. Where'd you go? Move your paws. Right, so please, if anyone knows anything about a wristwatch, let me know. If you want to email me, you can find my email address either on Twitter, it's up there, uh, 
and it's always in the descriptions. I always put my email address. So if anyone's got any information that could let me know about the watch or anything else, let me know. Just let me know. Well, I'm going to leave it there because it's like half ten. I've been on here for two hours now. And I'm going to go to bed. Is it true that the mum and stepdad left town with her? You know what? I was hearing something about that. Ratatouille. To me, to me. I heard some, but I weren't sure if I was hearing right. I was not sure if I was hearing right. So I don't know. Hold on, I'm going to put that up. Perhaps someone who sees this on Twitter might say, yes, it's true. If you're on Twitter, please come and join us on YouTube. Right, you can join in with the chat. Right, but I heard something about this only today. But because I was busy doing something else, getting ready and everything, it was literally in one ear and out the other. It didn't, didn't have time to stay in my brain, my tiny little brain. That is getting very full at the moment. Right? So I'm going to have to look into that. I might look into that after I come off the live. Because why would you leave town? Your son is missing. Why are you leaving town? That's not right. If that is true, that is not right. Exactly. Why can't your parent do that? I wouldn't. I would even put my own life at risk. And I would leave a door unlocked in case he come back during the early hours in the morning and he could get in. That's what mother I am. I would be out from dawn to dusk. Right? Wow. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't understand why some of the country police are uh, doing this, and why they told Cajun Navy to step down for seven days, and why, after their dog hit on the spot yesterday, did they get a phone call telling them those um, federal property and they had to leave what they were doing was illegal you're talking about a navy a na Cajun navy, navy right I'm sure they would have got all their paperwork signed to go there so that to me doesn't make sense did they move everything everyone off because the police were coming Possible, but then again, the police didn't go there. They said whatever they found was insignificant to the case of Sebastian. How can I say that? Her man, her man named the survivor 67. Oh, if they left, that's an even bigger. Exactly, that would be a massive red flag if they leave. If they have left. I don't care if he's gone to work. She don't need to leave. She's got a flipping house there to look after. She's got two dogs to look after. She's got a son to think about. Oh, Izzy, you're welcome, Elizabeth. Nice to see you. And you, actually. It's nice to see you. Well, if everyone... I can't... I did hear that though, so I'm going to look into that. I don't know if I'll do it tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm supposed to be doing a live tomorrow on Summer Moon Round, but I don't know yet. I might cancel that one and change it to Sebastian again. See what comes up. I'll just change it to another day. 
keep it there, but change it to another day. I don't know yet. See if anything comes up tomorrow about Sebastian. If not, then I'll delete. Oh, Summer Moon, Utah Wells. Right, but I'm only sticking to the facts on that. I'm not going down that flipping rabbit hole on that one. No way. Sticking to the facts. Right? So, that is weird, but I'm glad you brought that up because I did hear something. And I don't know. I wonder if Trev would know Trev time. I might send him an email later like, and ask him. So, Trev, could you tell us, is it right? Is it correct in here? Or oh, I could put it on my Facebook page because it, is, it follows me on Facebook. So I might put it on there and tag him on that and see what he says. Because that is not right. If that, I can understand if he's going away to work again and he's working a long distance. Fair enough. We don't care about him the further away he goes. As long as the police know where he is, fine. You know what I mean? But for both of them to go, no. No, there's no reason for her to go. She should be at home in case her son is found. And that's why those rivers that we've seen on these searches yesterday and today, they need the FQ search out there and even uh, the news huge that navy out there on their boats but as i said f search will only come in if they i ask the police and the police say yes please come and help or the police reach out to them because i can tell you now if he's in any of them rivers any of those rivers they will find him perhaps that's what they're hoping that their uh exercise don't get to come in but then you've got the Kaiser navy they've got the boats and the equipment to search the rivers they need to be searching them rivers not just land those rivers need searching and crossed off. You know what I mean? So I just feel so bad for the father. I feel bad for all these volunteers who've turned up this weekend. Because it's true, up until JL, JLR did that uh, live the other day with the father and. Um, Where is it now? If I can find it on the app. No, it'll be my moment. It'll be on mine. Go on my profile. Uh, oh, God. It's down here somewhere. Because I know I always share anything like this. No, 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 no. This one. Right, and that day they only had the up until that day they only had them three. And I think this was when was this? All right, let's have a look, let's see what day I posted this. Uh, oh god, you I reposted it on March the 23rd. So, what's the date today? So, I reposted that yesterday, right? But I think it was the day before the Friday that uh, he did that, where he went live and he walked around that park with them. So really, they should have been standing off a bit so people could just see him and have him at the bar. But the name the prize was given out. But after that, that's when the weekend came, obviously. So people were coming out yesterday to help. 
and they've been coming out today. And I understand a lot of people are working, but for three weeks now, these three have been doing it all on their own, even on the weekend. It's, this is the first weekend since the, scale, the search was scaled back by the police that they've had so many volunteers coming out. And it's good. And I hope to God they can keep this up during the week. You know what I mean? So, it's, I don't know, it's just mind-boggling, mind-boggling. I'm, I'm lost for words, to be honest with you. Only because the words I want to use, I can't use. And I don't know any nice way of saying it without saying those words. So just imagine what I want to say. Because you know I can't say it because I'm on YouTube. And YouTube will flag this video if I said what I really want to say. Right? I'm sorry to be a people say, don't dress the words up. I have to because this is YouTube. I have to dress the words up. I ask people in the chat. If they want to do any same thing, dress the words up. Dress the words up. Don't hold back, just dress them words up somehow. But I can't dress my words up. So you just have to imagine what I want to say about them parents. Yesterday, you know, it was this morning. That was it, this morning. I so wanted to put my fist through my TV because I was watching on TV. Put my fist through the TV and smash him one. Smash Chris one. That had wound up I was about him and her. But then I got distracted because I had to go and get ready to go out. So I got distracted. I didn't put my fist through my TV. But that's how I felt. And that's how I feel every day when I hear them two talk. So I'd rather not hear nothing about them. I just want to concentrate on Sebastian and finding Sebastian. Getting these people out there searching. Have JRR. I know some people don't like him. I understand that. But he's done some really great work. And you can't moan about this gang out there. Boots on the ground. He goes all... He don't... Like tomorrow, he may not be doing about Sebastian. He could be doing somewhere else. You know what I mean? He don't just concentrate on children. He just he was doing about the illegals coming in from was it Mexico or somewhere? He was on that for weeks, and he was going down there, and all these dry dogs were being left there. The dogs were just being left there because they couldn't take them with them to wherever they'd been shipped, uh, carted off to. And all these dry dogs were being left there, and he's doing his best to help these dry dogs. I mean, it's sad. But he don't, as I said, he does so much good work. And I'm not going to put him down for his past. Who hasn't got a past? Who has been so perfect in their flipping life? I know I haven't. You know what I mean? We've all been there. We've all done some advice in our lives. Right? So... Unless you're squeaky clean. Before you judge anyone, look at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror before you look at someone, judge anyone else. That's what I say. And he's doing fabulous work. And like I said, next week, Bullhorn Betty is getting her car back off the car, out, out the garage. She's coming down there. Because she's not happy. With that statement. Uh, what was it again? Let me find it again. It was on Twitter. Oh, where is it? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. I know I've got it somewhere. Oh, 
is me. You know, can we talk about the fact that the volunteer show gets happened? Yeah. Here it is. Here it is. This is what got for home Betty going. I can confirm. This is JLR. I can confirm the Pride Book has threatened to take legal action against the Rogers side of the family. Pride Books think Seth Rogers searching for Sebastian Rogers makes them look bad. You need more people reposting this. Only 55 have reposted that. He's got 320 hearts, 29k. And then he's one already, yeah, 29k as ready. Oh, and they've had 75, 74 comments. But if you're on Twitter, follow JLR, repost this because I think it's disgusting. They said that. that that's as bad as the mother saying, No, I don't let my husband use the belt on my son. Then Literally half hour later, yes, I think I gave him a swipe of the belt. I don't care if it's a mini inch of the belt. This is an autistic lad where they have said themselves his age capacity thing, his age thing is more like um, a 12 year old, I believe they said 12, 13, or 11, 12, something like that. You do on any child you don't use about. And don't come with me. I was born in the 60s. I grew up with all that lot. I grew up with the ruler across the back of your knuckles and all that lot. I grew up with it. Didn't hurt me. But today, no. There's no need for it. No need at all to use about on a child. So that's what got me, was the fact that she stuck up for him and then he suddenly turned around and said, yeah, I've, used to, I've gave him a swipe of the belt. Right? And that is why, like, that, what happened is apparently Sebastian had forgot his belt for school. Right? Or, or hadn't got his belt for school. So he went and got it, and his dad swiped him with the belt. Sebastian went to school and told someone in his class, a teacher or someone. So they are moderate to inform necessary. Lisa Klein. Hello, everyone. Where is Sebastian? I hope there's a miracle he's alive. I'm in Michigan. Yeah, we're all hoping that. I'm hoping he's... Right, but it's... He's not been on his meds, and I tell you now, coming off his meds like he did, his mind is going to be racing. The noises, the sounds, he's just going to go overload. It's going to be too much for him. He won't understand what's going on. You know what I mean? He, because he hasn't got his on his medication, and because he's been took out of his routine, wherever he is, if he is alive, he's been took out of his routine, he's not going to understand what is going on. But I'm hoping it is a miracle and he is alive. And I'm in the UK. And I swear if that lad found your life, I will have a flipping party here. And I can't drink because of my medication. But I'll, I'll still have a party. You know what I mean? But it's not looking good. And it's not looking good because the stepfather and the mother have made it look this way. You know what I mean? They've made, everything we talk about is because of what they've said. Or what they've done. You know to me. They're out on that walk today. That search today. You know what I mean. People are asking where, where is Kate and Chris. 
I don't care where they are. Because if I'd have been on that walk, I wouldn't have I, I wouldn't have been nasty to them. Say I was there and they turned up, I wouldn't be nasty to them. But I wouldn't acknowledge them either. I wouldn't acknowledge them, but I wouldn't be nasty to them. And they say they won't go to church like them. One vigil, they said they didn't go to because of threat, threats made to them. For oh Christ's sake, we don't care. We care about Sebastian. We don't care about you. No one, you know what I mean? We don't want people losing their jobs over this. We don't want all that. We just want the truth. We want to know where Sebastian is. And they know where he is. That's why they're not out there looking. That's why they're doing everything to stop these searches. Because I truly believe it was him who phoned up and put the complaint in about that search yesterday. About it being an illegal search because it was on federal property. But as I said, I'm sure the Cajun Navy would have got all that cleared. You know what I mean? But apparently they was kicked off because it with those on illegal property. They shouldn't have been there. It's a bit funny they got kicked off after the dog hit on a scent. Not before, but after a dog, a cane on dog, hit on a scent. Funny how they got kicked off then. So But I will look into that. Rat, oh, sorry, I can't tell you. Rat, ratatouille. <laughs> well, I can't tell that name. I'm sorry. But I hope someone is tracking them. I hope they are keeping an eye on them because if they leave town, that's out of order. They need to be stopped. They see them leaving town, they need to be pulled over and stopped. Yeah, they have so many red flags I've lost. I can't count no more because I've used all my fingers and I've used all my toes and I can't count no more. My brain is not able to hold all that information of how many red flags I've come. So, as JLR said today, if anyone, if you believe there's red flags, put red flags in the comments. And I, I did so many red flags, then I went times 100. You know what I mean? Because I can type, I can hit that red flag as many times as I wanted to hit it. But someone said, I wish they just keep their mouths shut. But they're not, they may not be doing interviews, but doing, putting statements out like that, letting people, uh, threatening people with lawyers and, in, and attorneys and all this lot, that is not helping. That is not helping their case one bit. When people start doing that, it's like, what have you got to hide? They don't like it because people are all for Seth. Because Seth is all for Sebastian. He's not getting pulled. And if I ever saw Seth on a live where he started going down that road, that dark road, that calling people out and everything, I'd say, Seth, don't go down that road. I'd put a comment, Seth, don't go down that road. Stick on the road you're going. Just think about Sebastian, and that's all you need to think about. Don't let what them two are doing come into your life. Don't. And I say, now, if Seth is watching, or if he hears this, do not let them bring you down like they want to. Do not let them pull you into that darkness where they are. Because they are in a dark place. They are in a very dark place. And like in the UK, we use Pandora bracelets. We used to say, like, um, I used to watch these um, 
groups that would go out and find uh, piggy figglers, pedos, pedos, right? And they track them down. And in the UK, in England, they can do a citizen's arrest, right? And they would hold them, phone the police, so then the police could come and take them away. And so there's a thing going around on their track, so Pandora, Pandora bracelets will look lovely on them, meaning the handcuffs. So look forward to your Pandora bracelets soon, uh, Chris and Katie, because you've both lied. You've both lied. And we picked up on these lies, and I'm sure, I hope to God, the police have been watching those lies and have picked up on those lies as well. The inconsistencies, the the adding to the story. You don't need to add a story to a story if you're telling the truth. If you're telling the truth, you don't need to add to it. You only add to it when you're telling a lie. And the more you add, the bigger the lie gets. And the bigger the red flag gets. So all I say is, as someone said once, let them keep talking. I'd rather them not. But let them keep talking. Let them keep coming on the lives. Let them keep doing their interviews. Because one day, she will drop a minion or he will drop. I don't think it will be him. It will be her. This is why people want to interview just her. Right? Because it was when she was on Smiley's show, um, Seth had dropped down off the panel for some reason, right? And some of the people were putting up in the chat about the bounce. And that's when she said, no, I don't let my husband use the belt on my son, right? Then he comes back up on panel and they start talking about discipline and social uh, family services and all this lot. And he said he did use the, uh, the belt on his the son. Only a quick whip like flick of it i don't care you don't use about on any child especially if child is autistic they don't understand you said it yourself as parents they get something in their head that is it that's how they go they just focus on that one thing and that is it that you know what i mean they don't care if they're right or wrong they don't care if it's dangerous they're gonna do it they are going to do it because that's what they're focused on. So when your child is being naughty, it's not because it's being naughty because it wants to. It's because it's, it's just focused on that one thing and it's determined. It's going to do it. If it means jumping off the roof, it's going to jump off that flipping roof. Right? You just got to be there with the uh, net underneath to catch him. But that's what autistic children are like. They get something in their head and they, they run with it. They literally go with it. So, um, anyway, like I said, I've now been on here two and a half hours. So, thank you, everyone, for being here. Everyone on Twitter. Please show me some love. Show that half. Repost it, share it, whatever. If you're on YouTube, give this video a like. Consider subscribing so you always know when you're gonna. I'm gonna do another video, another live. I mean, I do one nearly every day, every night, because I have things to do normally in the day. So I'll try and get them done in the night on the night time. And all I'll say is. Stay safe, give to your kids a hug, and sleep well. Night, everyone. Uh, before I go, once again, I'll just put that up. Thank you.